cornerback injury scare. Are you kidding me? Another cornerback injury scare. Hold up right there. Are you really kidding me right now? <clears throat> I'm going to just stop it right there. Scolding in the building. Scolding in the building. Always in the building. Shout out Scolding. But I'm going to just stop it right there, though. You telling me another cornerback near injury? <laughs> I'm going to say it like this, dog. I don't know who the cornerback is. I believe it may be Shaq Griffin. If I'm not mistaken, fire the chat room up heavy. But at the end of the day, the Vikings can handle no more injuries, dog. They can suffer no more injuries. Their cornerback room, very thin. Their cornerback room, very thin. Huh? That's the main thing. Let's think about it. Can they afford to lose a Shaq Griffin, even an Andrew Booth, and he's no count? You hear me? Even Andrew Booth and he's no count, dog. They can't afford to lose no person. What are their options? I say bring in Marshawn Lattimore. Some people like Marshawn, some people don't. If you don't want to see Marshawn Lattimore in the building because of personal reasons, you're in your feelings, emotions, because he's a saint, and we know the Vikings Saints rivalry, get out of there, dog. We're talking about the Vikings making the playoffs. They need corners. They need corners, dog. Duke Shelley, probably not it. Huh? The white, the the white McLaughlin there, young UDFA, but he's 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 still unproven, dog. Huh? They can't afford any, any injuries, homie. Any injuries, dog, huh? to that cornerback position. You hear me? They're in a tough spot. A tough spot, dog. Huh? You mean to tell me they're in a position where you have to rely on Andrew Booth? Andrew Booth? Oh, is Shaq Griffin all oh, man? Is Shaq Griffin scolding? Is that fact scolding? Is that facts? Let me know, big dog. Let me know if that's facts. You hear? Me? Is Shaq Griffin the cornerback that almost got injured today? I need to know, man. Let me know in the chat. Make sure you in the chat like it up. Is that facts? Is Shaq Griffin did he almost get injured, dog? Steve Barrett in the building. Steve Barrett in the building. Uh, shout out Steve Barrett. Hey, EJ, what up, big dog? Delton Vincent, yo, fuck that everyone gets hurt. It's crazy right now, Vincent. It's crazy right now, dog. But you telling me Shaq Griffin almost got hurt? Oh, man, calm it down. <laughs> calm it down, homie. Calm it down, homie. Yeah, but he'll be fine. Hey, I get that. That's all good. I'm glad he'll be okay. You hear me? <laughs> oh, man, I'm glad he'll be okay. I hope that's facts. Like I say, I'm going to get into the Oracle, dog. Training camp. Day two, I told you, ain't no more hiding. They got to show up, dog. Who the best? Put the best on the field. Ain't no more hiding and running. Even with injuries, dog, who going to step up? They can't sit and pout about it. Prayers up to my cop Blackman, but they can't sit and pout about it, huh? That's going to hold him back. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Kevin O'Connell, Brian Flores upset, but they can't show it. They can't go around all being sad, mad. Oh, I lost my corner. I lost my starting corner. Brian Flores got to do what he do, adapt. Heavy, adapt heavy, down like he adapted last season with that piss poor defense, turned him into some dogs, huh? You have enough weapons there. You may you you may be sluggish in the secondary position. You may be may be very questionable, but at the end of the day, build your pass rush. You got magnificent edge rushers. One thing you should be able to do that will help your secondary and cornerbacks is get to the get to that quarterback. Get to that quarterback. That's why you brought in exclusive, you know what I'm saying, pass rushers, edge rushers, dog. Van Ginkle, Renard, Speed, Dallas Turner, Roll Todd, full of pride. That's why you bring these players in. So your pass rush should be able to get there at least. You hear me? That's how you neutralize. You hear me? And your corners are in coverage less. It'll be a weakness, but how do you maneuver? That's why you get the big bucks, the big bucks. But you have enough talent to be a playoff team. Probably one and done. But you have enough talent to be a playoff team, Vikings. This is where coaches must adapt. We're going to see how coaches adapt. You hear me? How do they really get out? How do they really maneuver? Everybody can look great with all the talent in the world. You hear me? That's how you know Brian Flores will bounce back, dog. Period. Bottom line. You know how he operates. The Minnesota Vikings defense last season looked great at times, huh? Huh? And the time they look piss poor, that's the lack of talent and consistency, dog. Especially later in the season, season, season over, dudes ready to go home, get to their wife full time, etc. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Rashad Griffin, stay aware, big dog. 
The Vikings can't afford to lose Shaq Griffin. You hear me? I don't care what they're talking about. Hands down, man down. You cannot afford to lose Shaq Griffin. You hear me? You cannot afford to lose Shaq Griffin, huh? And everybody's saying, oh, he okay, he all right. That's too close for comfort. Too close to comfort for me, homie. Who the Vikings bring in? What cornerback they bring in? Oh, let's look it up real quick. They bring in some dude, right? Cornerback position, but that's not that's not good enough for me, dog. They can afford no more injuries, dog. You hear me? Give me one second, man. What's the cornerback they bring in? Yeah, let me know, dog. You hear me? Give me one second. They brought in a dude from uh if you if you know, let me know in the chat, man. Let me know in the chat. Let me know which cornerback. What's the cornerback's name? I think he's from the Texans. I think he's from the Texans. Let me know. Let me know, please. In the chat, cooperate in the chat. If you in the chat, like it up. Let me know ASAP. Quickly and swiftly. You hear me? Okay, here we go. Let's check it out real quick. Vikings sign cornerback reinforcement, Janik Earnhardt. Let's see. Scolding in the building. Appreciate you, Scolding. Appreciate you, Scolding. He says, yeah, Francis, they bought in. Okay. So let's check this guy out one second. Let's see what he's really about. Hold on. <clears throat> Vikings sign cornerback reinforcements. It was the primary headline after Wednesday's practice session. The Minnesota Vikings lost cornerback Makai Blackman to a torn ACL, which is devastating news for the sophomore, but also a big blow for the secondary that had really entered training camp without rookie Kyrie Jackson after his tragic accident. Rest in peace, Kyrie Jackson. Vikings signed cornerback reinforcement. Suddenly, the once crowded cornerback room was feeling quite empty. Oh, it's very empty. It's very empty. You hear me? Oh, it's very empty, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It can't get no more empty, though. The remaining depth chart showed only eight cornerbacks down two players within a few weeks. Talk about wow. Folks started to wonder whether calling one of the big name free agents like Stefan Gilmore would make sense. No, I don't think Stefan Gilmore makes real sense, dog. Let me know in the chat. Do you want Gilmore? Let me know in the chat. Would you want Stefan Gilmore? Would you want Stefan Gilmore in the chat? Jacoby Francis, but let me let me know in the chat because I'm not too big on Stefan Gilmore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not too big on Stefan Gilmore, dog, if you ask me. I would much rather see Marshawn Lattimore in the building. Marshawn Lattimore in the building. You hear me? That's who I'm rocking with. Marshawn Lattimore in the building. Delton Vincent says no. Delton Vincent says no. He says hell no to the Gilmore. <laughs> like, why you need Gilmore? Matter of fact, let's stop it, though. We'll get back to it. But why do you need Gilmore? You hear me? Why do you really, why would you really bring Gilmore in? What does he do? He's on a decline. He's on a decline. Didn't he battle injury last season? Huh? You saw what Jettas did to him. <laughs> you bringing him in, paying him how much? <laughs> you can get a younger guy playing at a higher level for that. You hear me? I want Marshawn Lattimore. I want Marshawn Lattimore. I'm damn near ready to say, I'm damn near ready to say a Vikings. Give up a second round draft pick to acquire Marshawn Lattimore. You hear me? Heavy, dog. We got time. We hit. <laughs> I'm damn near about to say a Vikings give up a second round draft pick for Marshawn Lattimore for 2025. Let me know in the chat if you agree. Would you give up a second round draft pick next season for Marshawn Lattimore right now? With the injuries, the secondary has to come to. Do you want Lattimore? Who wants Lattimore? You hear me? Let me know if you want Lattimore. You hear me? You understand me? Who wants Lattimore, dog? We're fine. No moves. Jay Ward or Theo Jackson scheme them in. Uh, you can talk about Jay Ward. Theo Jackson is strictly a safety. <laughs> so you really can't say scheme Theo Jackson is. Uh, scheme Theo Jackson in, Delton Vincent. You hear me? You got to think about it, big dog. <laughs> you can't really scheme Theo Jackson for the cornerback position, man. He's strictly a safety. Now, Jay Ward, he's versatile, but he's been in the NFL two years playing the safety position. Now, you're just going to change him abruptly, switch it up. Will he be ready by 
uh, week one. Now, understand if you're a football player, you're a football player. You're still on the defensive side and secondary, but he has to learn quickly and swiftly and learn the game. You hear me really learn the game, a whole new position. It's still a whole new position. You hear? Point blank, huh? Point blank, huh? Nah, I scolded. I said Marshawn Lattimore, no Xavier and Howard. I said I said Marshawn Lattimore, not Xavier and Howard. Scolded. He can stay over there. You hear me? <laughs> he, he he can stay way over there. You hear me? If, if if what he did is allegedly true, though. Bottom lines. I'm sure it's still a court case, whatever. But yeah, he guilty of that. He can stay over there, way over there, dog. I said Marshawn Lattimore. You hear him? Delta Vincent says, don't have the pick to give. What don't they have to give, Delta and Vincent? Expound, 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 huh? Oh, we don't have a second. Got you. Shout out my dog, Delta and Vincent. Shout out my dog, Delta and Vincent, huh? You hear me? Uh -huh. He says, we don't have a second next year. All right, bet. So now it makes sense. So now you got to try for a third. Dalton Vincent, is that accurate information? Is that facts? So they got to try for a third. Then. All I'm saying is do what you got to do to get Marshawn Lattimore in the building. You hear me? Do what you got to do to get him in the building. Hands down, man down. Dog. You hear me? Steve Bear, we have a one and two and two five. So that's it? Just a one and two? Man, what a capital at. Where the capital, draft capital, I guess that's what happens when you trade this and that. You hear me? Make maneuvers. But it's all good. Quasi going cook. All right. That's right, Skolder. That's right. Oh, that makes sense. It's worth all that. Dallas Turner worth all that, though. Dallas Turner is worth all that. Oh, Delton Vincent, no one's saying that. No one's saying Lattimore is worth is worth a, 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 a one, dog. Don't get it misconstrued, Delton Vincent. I'm not saying Lattimore is worth a one. Did I say that, dog? I said a two or a three or a four, et cetera. Don't give up a first round pick for him. Nah. I ain't saying that, big dog. <laughs> don't do that. You hear me, Delta? Shout out Delton Vincent, but don't do that. You hear? Never say, never say he worth a one, dog. You know what I'm saying? That would be that would be foolish. That would be foolish, though. Huh? That would be super foolish. You hear me? That would make no sense. Would wouldn't damn near say give up a one for Lattimore? Nah. <laughs> Who would say that? Comps may change that though. Comps may change what, Steve Bear? Expound, Steve Bear. All I'm saying is this, the Vikings, the cornerback situation is very tight. They're in a tight spot, dog, <laughs> and they can't afford no injuries, but they need talent. They can't afford no injuries, but they need talent, dog. Period, bottom line, point blank. You hear me? They need talent, dog. Huh? So I don't care if Shaq Griffin is okay. It's still, woo, wow, whoa. Too close for comfort, dog. You hear me? Too close for comfort, dog. Huh? You didn't you get my drift? <laughs> Woo! -hoo. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying it's not an option to trade for him. He might be a surprise cut, though. Huh. Definitely be a surprise. It would definitely be a surprise if they cut Lattimore, huh? Heavy, duh. Point blank period. You hear him? Definitely be a surprise cut. And guess what? The Vikings better scoop him up. Get in and scoop him up. You hear me? Get him in here. Get him in the building. The Vikings should not reach on personnel. I agree. But some personnel is worth it. You don't reach and give a first round pick for Lattimore. But you, you try and reach second round, third round. That's a fair, that's a win-win, dog. Fair ball. Fair ball, you hear? Yeah, yeah, think about it. You get an elite corner still in his prime. Can develop, can work on his skills, and then Brian Flores. Think about him under Brian Flores. Huh? His football IQ, football acumen, huh? Let's be real about it, man. Let's not be biased. 
Huh? You hear me? And shout out Delton Vincent. I get what you're saying, huh? I'm right there with you. But at the end of the day, <laughs> they got to be in panic mode, huh? We can sit here sugarcoated and the Vikings going to stay calm. They got to stay cool, collected. I'm not saying literally panic, but they got to be in making maneuvers. Huh? They got to bring somebody in quickly and swiftly, man. That's the bottom line. Man. <laughs> You're going to rely on Andrew Booth? No way. No way, duh. Is that if Andrew Booth is your starter, you might as well tank this season in. Get ready to tank. Huh? If Andrew Booth is starting for any reason, besides he absolutely has to because of injuries, get him out of here. Get the Vikings out of here. Season out of here. They got the nerve to put him on Jettas in training camp. <laughs> you saw what happened there. Burnt over the top. Sam Darnold. Beautiful football. Beautiful ball, dog. In the lap. Bam. Give me that. We're going to get into that in a minute, a little later. Here we head. Big skull. Skull vibes, baby. You hear me? Yeah, let's get it, man. That's all I'm saying. The Vikings cornerback situation is a tight one. It's a tight one. How will they adapt? Uh, let's get back to the story. Let's play the got to play the definitely got to play the board. Definitely got to play the board. Uh, that's part of the game, part of the business. <laughs> you know, maneuvers, maneuvers all season, all off season, all year long. Who's going to make the best move? Who's going to win? <laughs> yeah. What can Quazy do? What can O'Connell do? What deal can they make work? Boom, quickly and swiftly. Cornerbacks in the building. Huh? <laughs> you dig me? You get my drift, huh? Big school, dog. Big school here. Yeah. In the chat, like it up. You in the chat, like it up. Yeah. Yeah, man. You in the chat, like it up, dog. Period. Let's get it. Homeboy, we did pick up Jabril Cox. You'll love him. Jabril Cox, linebacker. What is he? I seen something on Jabril Cox. He a, he a, he a linebacker. What is Jabril Cox? What is his position? Uh, what is his position, dog? What is your what is Jabril Cox position? I must know. I must know, dog. What is Jabril? Is he a linebacker? He a DN? What is he? Linebacker. Bet I'm gonna look him up. We hit big score. Let's get back to this to this article, man. Look up his stats. I'm gonna check him out. I'm gonna check him out. Let's get back to this training camp, man. Well, first let's finish the cornerback thing real quick. Give me a second, man. Because you have to do something, man, quickly and swiftly. That's what it is. There already. Stefan Gilmore, no. General manager, general manager Quasi Adolfo Mensah wasted no time acquiring Jacoby Francis, a third year player who spent the previous two seasons with the Houston Texans. Aaron Wilson announced the news on X. So Jacoby Francis, a third year player. Was he a starter? Was he a starter with the Texans or just a depth chart guy? Anybody know? Let me know, dog. Vikings are shining former Texans corner Jacoby Francis for a league source. Francis is certainly not intended to enter any starting lineup discussions. Right. Facts. And that's the problem right there. <laughs> so you're losing, you're losing potential starters and picking up and gaining guys who cannot start. Strictly backup. So we're talking about depth, depth chart moves, strictly a depth chart fill in move. You know, like the guy just said, he's not a starter. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts, Delta and Vincent. Basically, a, a camp punching bag, dog. They're not relying on Francis to be a starter. <laughs> Probably won't even make the squad. They're trying to fill the roster, dog. It's not a lot of talent out there left out there to choose from. Huh? Marshawn Lattimore, probably the only guy, right? That's worth it. It makes some sense, huh? It makes some real sense here. He's no starter. He's no elite cornerback. He doesn't improve your defense. Unless for some odd apparent reason he, he breaks out, he balls out, which I don't expect he will. Get back to it, man. Here. 
but he provides needed depth. He came out of Memphis when the Texans signed an undrafted rookie in 22. While he didn't make the initial 53-man roster, Houston evaluated him. Houston elevated him to the game day roster a few times and then prompted him in December. The defensive back appeared in five games and registered 76 snaps on special teams. Excuse me. He did not see the field on defense. <laughs> Strictly a backup. He's not that nice, bro. In the sophomore campaign, the defender again failed to make the roster and was stashed on the practice squad. He's just a, a practice squad guy, man. He will be no factor on the defense. You hear him? You know what I'm saying? Quasi playing the board. Facts at this point, what else can he do, huh? <laughs> what else can he do at this point but play the board? He ain't got too many options. Delta, you hear him? He ain't got too many options, dog. <laughs> the Texans released him halfway through the season ending his stint with the franchise. Early in 2024 season, Francis was included in Minnesota rookies, rookie minicamp roster as a tryout player. Oh, wow. So he was, he was strictly a tryout guy? Yeah, he's not. <sighs> he doesn't help this defense in any form or fashion, bro. The secondary, the secondary is in trouble. The secondary is officially in trouble. The secondary is officially in trouble, though. EJ Cowboys owner took shot at Vikings. Scolding, what he say? What was said? Scolding, let me know heavier. Was he disrespectful? Was he talking about a player? What what the news is? Scolding, let me know, though. Let me know, homie. You're in. Let's get back to this article now. He was he was not signed at the time, but remained just one call away. <laughs> The Vikings now employ nine healthy cornerbacks in addition to black men. <laughs> not anymore, dog. Black men not healthy. What, do, what are you saying, homeboy? Here, who is expected to miss the 2024 season? Byron Murphy, questionable. Shaquille Griffin, questionable. Evans, questionable. Ben Sorry, Duke Shelley. Who is Duke Shelley? Dwight McLaughlin. Who knows potential? AJ Green. Who is he? Jalen Williams. Practice backup, Jacoby Francis backup. Are you telling me this is a solid roster? It's no one you can believe in on this on this cornerback room right now. Maybe Shaquille Griffin, barely. Huh? Somebody let me know, dog. Who can you believe in in that cornerback room, homie? In that cornerback room. Who can you believe in? Do you hear? Somebody please let me know, dog. Somebody let me know out here, man. Who can you believe in solidly and feel confident? Yeah, that's our team. That's our fucking corner. That's our motherfucking corner, baby. He's our he's our lockdown guy. I don't care if it's a number one by Byron Murphy's name. He ain't no number one corner in the league. He let he let that boy Keenan from the Chargers do him dirty, do him in. Two hundred plus from Keenan. You believe in Murphy? 200 plus yards from Keenan, and you believe in Murphy, dog? You hear him? Make it make sense, homie. You hear him? And I said they would make the playoffs. I may have to revamp, re break down the schedule. You dig me? You get my drift? Because it's looking real suspicious, round head, round yonder. <laughs> you understand, dog? Uh, Byron Murphy, your number one. And he's an inside slot playing boy. He's no outside man to man lockdown. You know, if the white McLaughlin can somehow, he's just some way, man, hopefully will be great for the Vikings if he's just a per baller. One of them guys like Kyrie Jackson would have been. You know, we can assume that. We don't know, but we 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 know what Kyrie Jackson was, dog. But the white McLaughlin, all the talent in the world, can it translate quickly and swiftly? He already shined. He already, he already got some reps with the ones. OTAs, etc. So could he really shine and elevate? That would help them out tremendously. Huh? But if not, boy, a long road for that secondary. Cornerback position, wow. Let's finish this topic, baby. Byron Murphy is the team's top cornerback. <laughs> Psych. That's trouble there. His versatility to play out, play outside in the slot allows the Vikings to be creative in the backfield. 
All right, give me a sec. If the team has two outside cornerbacks, he can slide inside. And if someone claims the slot role, he can play on the outside. What does it matter if he going to get beat in, on either side, homie? What sense does it make? It doesn't matter where you put him. If he can't cover in the outside, he's going to get burned. You know what I'm saying? Let's just talk facts. Shaquille Griffin was signed to bring in some veteran experience. The former Pro Bowler is a strong starting candidate, although his play has fallen off in recent years. Still, he should give defensive coordinator Brian Flores a solid baseline that the young players will need to clear if they're going to re-enter the starting line. Yes, yeah, Shaquille, Shaquille Griffin, Shaq Griffin is your hope, your big hope right now. The veteran you hope stands out and can step up. Uh, Caleb Evans and Andrew Booth, the 2022 draftees, now carry a lot of hope slash expectations. Evans started most games last season, and while playing well in some contests, he had some poor outings in others, resulting, resulting in a couple of late-season benchings. <laughs> you mean to tell me you get benched late season and it's not a conundrum? This man can't cover nobody, dog. He can tackle. He's physical. I give him that. He can't cover a tight end, homie, a running back. You hear me? No disrespect. I'm talking facts. He's a, he's a liability in the secondary. And he's been benched for horrible play. Booth's history is concerning, no cap, but he remained healthy all of last season. So what? He wasn't nothing, not an enforcer, no, not a contributor, unless he was absolutely necessary, oh, man, unless he was absolutely needed. Oh, let's stop capping and yapping with this media, homie. You hear me? Let's not act like just because Andrew Booth was healthy all season meant something, dog. You hear me? That was one thing that was positive, homie. Let's look at his play. He got ate up early and often. We know who Andrew Booth is. Let's stop capping. You understand? Act like Andrew Booth going to make some noise. Listen, if you're counting on Griffin, it's not a good look. I mean, he's decent, but not like, like all that. Thank you right there. That's my point right there, Delta. I agree with you on that one, homie. <laughs> I, <laughs> you counting on him? You depending on him? They ain't got no choice, dog. That's my point. Exactly. Who else, who else can they count on? Who else can they depend on, dog? You hear me? They ain't got no options. They ain't got no options, my boy. We know what's up, Delta. They ain't got no options. You hear me? Boy's in trouble on that cornerback, in that cornerback room, homie. <laughs> Huh? Huh? 